What's up guys, it's Project and welcome to my weapon guides for Monster Hunter World. These guides are aimed specifically at the best combos of a weapon to get the most DPS out of them, but I'll also explain the mechanics and role of a weapon for new players to get a better understanding about the weapon they plan to use. Before I begin, just know I play the PS4 version and have my controls to swap R2 with R1, so whenever I refer to R1, it's R2 if you're using the default scheme or whatever it is on Xbox. I also did every test naked, no armor or charms equipped, nor buffs used. The Big Devil Joe update is approaching, so I figured I'd squeeze in another guide for a weapon that isn't seeing much change, and that weapon is the Lance. The Lance is perhaps the best defensive weapon in the game, equipped with a huge shield to handle all manner of attacks, but it also can be used to counterattack after a successful block, keeping the damage chain going so you can stay offensive rather than just simply guarding for tanking hits. Pressing R2 plus circle will do a counter guard, allowing you to auto counter any hit. Holding R without pressing anything else will hold the position for about 3 seconds before auto thrusting. During this period you can press X to do a power guard, a special guard that consumes stamina but increases defense capabilities and the counter thrust does more damage. And you can also change the direction of the thrust unlike the normal counter. So long as you hold the block button, you'll stay in power guard stance allowing you to block multiple hits unlike the normal counter. However, it does drain your stamina super fast till you use the counter thrust attack via circle. So very effective for a counter playstyle, although you'll mainly just be poking with Lance for your main damage output. Like Gun Lance, Lance is pretty turtly in speed and might seem clunky and slow, but unlike Gun Lance, it actually has better maneuverability options. The main one is the charge move, full jousting style. You'll run infinitely so long as you don't press the guard button and have stamina. You access this move via pressing triangle plus circle when guarding. Let go of the guard button and you're on your way. This is amazing for chasing a monster down since it's actually faster than running and even gets faster speed the longer you run. You can also do some cool tricks when running as well. You can juke to the left or the right by pressing X in that direction. You can do a 180 no scope spin by pressing back on the thumbstick plus X to change direction in case you pass a monster. And lastly, you can even do a jumping attack via pressing forward plus X followed by Triangle, which can mount a monster, so a very versatile move that you end with a powerful forward thrust via pressing Triangle. Another noteworthy move before moving on to the best combos is the Guard Rush move. As the name implies, you can dodge while guarding, being able to block an attack while covering some ground, so long as your shield is facing the hit. You can do this by pressing the Guard button, then whatever direction you want, followed by Triangle. Press those commands fast enough and you can sprinkle it in between attacks to quickly position better. You can also do an attack follow-up by pressing circle or triangle, circle being the better one. So lots of cool little tricks to sprinkle in between the main combos you want to do when this situation arises. Guard up and guard skills are great skills for Lance, giving you more blocky power and less knockback, and the guard up skill can practically make you block any attack with the power guard. Protective polish or razor sharp are also recommended skills since Lance loses sharpness fairly fast. Combo 1 Combo 1 is the best DPS Lance has, but the better version is a bit tricky and situational to pull off. Triple Circle does more damage than Triple Triangle, but thrusts upwards so you have to be hugging a monster that isn't tall to hit them with this attack. Unfortunately, it stops at 3 hits before having a stop animation for a second or two, so to reset it, the best in-between move is the Charging Joust. However, the special turnaround swipe is the quicker DPS option than simply pressing Triangle shortly after. You can do this by holding the left thumbstick back, then pressing triangle while charging. This is basically the same damage as just jousting, then immediately pressing circle or triangle, but it has less animation lag than that option. The downside is, it is a 180 turn attack, meaning you'll be facing backwards, which is situational. But this is good to use on monsters' heads if you can angle it right, but otherwise, the charging joust, then triangle is fine enough. It takes some getting used to to do these things right, but it is the best DP option Lance has. Combo 2 Combo 2 is basically the same exact thing, but using a counter thrust instead of the charging joust. Triple circle, then tapping R2 plus circle, does a thrust poke and resets the combo. Don't hold the guard button though, unless you expect the monster to attack so you can counter. It does less damage than combo 1, 
but it's less wonky and the counter thrust sprinkled in means you'll be able to be more defensive to counter more attacks than the charging thrust which has a pretty long animation for a combo resetter. And that is it for the combos, I'm actually cutting it shorter this time since everything else is just minor variations. The core part of your DPS is the triple upward thrust, so using combo 1 or 2 is your best options depending if you want more DPS or predict an attack. If you want, you can use a standard 4 directional hop in between a triple poke, you can use a shield rush, it all depends on the exact situation, but most of the time you want to use combo 1 and 2. The patch on the 22nd will give Lance a special flinch free like buff when landing a successful shield counter, so that's pretty nice to make tripping less frequent in multiplayer. But that is it for the guide, hopefully it helped you in learning and using the lance effectively, faster than ever. Master counter lance, and you can master the world. The world. The world. If I miss anything important in the video, let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to pin it if it's something major. As always, thanks for watching, make sure to leave a like, comment down below with any questions or how much you're enjoying the weapon thus far, I would love to hear that from you guys. I would also love for you to subscribe if you haven't, make sure to click that hunter's bell so you don't miss any cool videos from me. As always, I appreciate the support, and remember, a hunter must hunt.